Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And it's time to talk about Twitter. We're going to talk about why you are not going to leave Twitter, even though you threatened it. You're not going anywhere. Mm -mm. You're not going to Mastodon. And if you're going to Mastodon, you're probably coming right back to Twitter. This explains why we still have uh, cancel culture alive so and well. So many still on Twitter. So many people that threaten to leave Twitter over Elon Musk are not leaving Twitter because there really is no other place to go that works as well as Twitter. And we've got a kind of a two-part video here. We're going to talk about uh, Twitter users threatening to leave for Mastodon, but Mastodon is not working out very well for them at all. And there's not nearly as many people on Mastodon. Well, they're going Hive too. Uh, Hive's not that great either. They were shut down. Mastodon currently is the biggest competitor. We're going to talk about that and we're going to talk about this lawsuit. People were so angry when uh, Elon Musk came in, bought the company, fired it or laid off, I'm sorry, laid off a bunch of Twitter employees and they threatened a class action lawsuit and uh, it's not going to work out for them. No. So we're going to talk about this and uh, talk about the state of Twitter and uh, per my personal opinion is Twitter hasn't changed much at all, really. Not really. Uh, except now you got to pay for it. There's not <laughs> as much, yeah, there's not as much. I think I think there's still a lot of toxic people on there, but a lot did leave. Some did leave. Some of them, it turned out, they were old accounts and I think they got purged. Yeah. And I think that's something that will continue to happen. They're going to get better at sniffing out the bots and getting rid of the bots. But uh, Twitter itself has not changed a whole lot in the last couple of months, in my opinion, since Musk took over, other than the fact that we've got the uh, owner of Twitter saying stuff on Twitter that people on Twitter don't like, but they're not leaving. No. couple of celebrities did. They'll be back. Probably. Of course they'll be back. So, uh, they'll be back. You'll see, be back. You'll see. This was just put up today. We'll, we'll talk about this first and then we'll get into this other stuff. These, these are the five ways that Musk has changed the platform for users, right? And they got to get a dig in there too. Number one, blocking alternative ways to view Twitter. Uh, so they suspended access to the API. So you have to go through Twitter, right? Curation's a little bit better. Uh, they moved that around a little bit. Controversial accounts reinstate, of course. Well, it depends on who you ask. Who you ask? Who is actually controversial? I, I don't think Trump has has tweeted anything because he's got his own thing going on. But people were very mad, very mad that he did that. Uh, Twitter blue, you got to pay. You got to mm -hmm. pay. Uh, silver and gold ticks for brands now. So now uh, now the new blue is gold. <laughs> um, and Elon Musk, the master of spin. He's the he's awful. Was he a DJ? He's yeah, he is. Uh, basically, he's. You know, this is fine. Everything's fine. Love him or hate him. He owns the platform. That's it. There's not much you can do about it. And uh, if you got fired, you got laid off. There's also not much you could you can do Apparently about it. Apparently not. No. Because. Uh, but usually when a company lay, gets bought out, they can go in and lay people off unless they have like, you know, and he followed the rules. Like he had to have so yes. many months of work. You know, yes. Unless there's rules set up and you don't follow those rules. Um, there really isn't much you can do. But in his case, he made sure he followed that. Yeah, and that's everybody I remember. They're, they're always like, they're always moving the goalposts because originally it was, there's no way Elon Musk can buy Twitter. This will never happen. And then it happened. <laughs> and they're like, well, there's no way he can just fire people like that. Even if it's his company, he can't just fire people. You, there's got to be laws against the firing and laying people off. Yeah, there are. And uh, he abided by those those yes. rules and those laws. You know, you, as long as you give people notice and you give them their severance, I mean, I'd say with unionized employees too, like just because you're in a union doesn't mean you're not going to get fired or laid off. They just have to go through a, a longer, lengthier process mm -hmm. to do it. Um, they have to have reason for it. You know, uh, look at Kickstarter. Kickstarter had some problematic people working for it and they're like, hey, we had an economic downturn. We're just going to buy out your contract. Goodbye. Goodbye. First chance they got. Yep. But they couldn't just fire people the way that they did. So yeah, U.S. District Judge uh, said Friday that five former Twitter employees pursuing a proposed class action lawsuit accusing the company of failing to give adequate notice before laying them off after its acquisition by Musk must pursue their claims in private arbitration. Well, they can't do class action. They then. can't do a class so action. But they can still sue just privately. I don't think it's going to go very well. Um, everything I've read is that they don't really have much of a case because he did follow the rules. Uh, Donato granted Twitter's request to force the five ex-employees to pursue their claims individually, citing agreements they signed with the company. Twitter did not respond to requests for comment. San Francisco judge left for another day as warranted. 
by developments in the case, whether the entire class action lawsuit much must be dismissed, though, as he noted, three other former employees uh, alleged they opted out of the company's arbitration agreement and joined the lawsuit. They were going to basically the plan was they were going to do a class action lawsuit and they were going to like sue Elon Musk into oblivion. <laughs> and somehow they were going to get Twitter back that way, you know, and that's not going to happen. Um, it said they had already filed 300 demands for arbitration on behalf of former Twitter employees and would likely file hundreds more. Those workers How all much claim, is that costing? Yeah, right. Uh, those workers all claim they have not received the full severance package promised by Twitter before Musk took over. Some have alleged sex or disability discrimination. Uh, last year, uh, Donato ruled that Twitter must notify the thousands of workers who were laid off after the acquisition, which they did. The Warren. Uh, well, how are they arguing sex or disability discrimination? Because if he gave notice to everybody at the same time, I don't. There know. wouldn't. You can't argue that. Like you, you, you know. Yeah, I, I mean, look, I, my understanding was Musk knew when he came in. And I'm not saying there's not shenanigans going on, but I mean, you have to know one what kind of employees you're dealing with over there and what's going to happen. And two, state laws, and this mm -hmm. isn't his first rodeo because he had Tesla in California before mm -hmm. moving into Texas. <laughs> Why did he move to Texas? I wonder. Yeah. So, I mean, apparently the class action lawsuit, uh, not going forward. I think what's going to happen with a lot of people getting laid off from these tech companies is they're going to try the class action lawsuit and realize, like, you can't sue every employer for everything. And, you know, when somebody buys a company, they're kind of sort of buying those employees, but you're also – kind of resetting the deal, as I understand well, it. Well, here's what gets me. These people are complaining and they weren't given enough time when they were given enough time. Yeah. Um, a lot of states don't even give you that. No, Pennsylvania doesn't. Like I mean, these people shut up your pants if you were in an at-will, or, you know, was it work, or was it... Um, at-will. Yeah, at-will. At, at, at state, like, PA, they, they don't like your shoes that day. They can, like, fire you and say it's for another reason. These people would, like, would lose their shit if they had to go someplace else that, you know... Because California basically coddles people. Yeah. And I mean, I'm not disagreeing that California should have this in place because I think it's crap companies can just get rid of people um, the drop of a hat because they feel like it or because they, they, they sold out or something. I agree that they should give notice and people should be given more of a, a warning than that. But the reality is most states don't do that. No, and that's that's going to come up with the, um, the limited run games debacle with them getting, getting rid of their community manager. Done videos about that. Go find them. But, but they're in North Carolina. North Carolina is at will. Yeah, and that's the truth is, you know, the people are like, well, it's at will employment. And that is true. They can say, hey, uh, sorry, you know, that's you. Maybe your handbook, there was a line in the, the employee handbook that uh, we have the right to terminate you if we think that you could cause us biz, you know, damage to our business mm -hmm. or whatever. I mean, there are, uh, you know, I don't know. But, yeah, you don't have much of a case. But in this case, he he anticipated this and made sure that – you know, his butt was covered on that. And um, anyway, let's talk about Mastodon because everybody is like, well, freaking Twitter sucks. We're all going to go. We're all going to Mastodon, right? Um, oh, I never noticed their logo. It looks like a, a, a elephant. Ha ha ha. Yeah, right. I never pay attention. Wait, aren't elephants bad? I thought elephants were bad. Um, we're finding out that it's not a trunk. It's a penis. No, because uh, there's a lot of dirty stuff. There's a lot stuff. of dicks over there. There's a, there's, <laughs> there's a lot of dirty stuff apparently on Mastodon. But um, so, yeah, the story was that everybody was going to rage quit Twitter and solidarity and they were going to go to Mastodon and Mastodon was going to blow up or Hive or one of these other stupid platforms. And apparently there was a bump, but it's not much of a bump. It's not actually working out very well for them. That's funny when you had the penis joke right before that. There's not much of a bump. It's not much of a bump. They just, they can't get it up. It's over new there. math over there. It's new math. Um, so we're going to go out to Mike Phelan's article here in a little bit. But first, uh, this one on Thurit. They said, uh, Thurit? Is it Thurot? Thurot? Mastodon users have started fleeing the platform. They said Mastodon saw its popularity surge as Twitter users were seeking an alternative, but stopped growing. And this is just, uh, yeah, just a couple days ago. And a couple months ago, it was like, yeah, right. All the cool kids are going to Mastodon. Actually, what I saw on Twitter was a bunch of idiots fumbling around trying to figure out how to set up a Mastodon account because it's a bunch of like what disconnected servers. And I saw a bunch of people who got in trouble for it, putting their names. And now, now you can find me on Mastodon. Now yeah. you can find me on Hive. And they got in trouble for that. Yes. But they're basically like, you know, in their comments, well, I have another account if you want to go you know, follow me over here. Yeah. And nobody's really going over there. No. So, but they're not leaving Twitter either. They keep in one foot there because they know that no one listens to them. Yes. I mean, there are all these people that I'm like, go, please, for the love of God, go someplace else. Go to Mastodon. Where Be free. 
be free. Go over to Mastodon where it's it's more of a shit show than Twitter. For the love of God, leave us alone. You want to go over there? Go over there. That's how Twitter knows it's truly loved. When you let it, when you let something go and it comes back to you, <laughs> it's true love. You can't quit. You can't quit Twitter. You can't quit Twitter. You can't quit Elon Musk. You're you're stuck here. Broke back space daddy. Broke back space daddy. There we go. Uh, as reported by the Guardian, Mastodon saw its number of active users drop thirty percent since its usage peaked at over 2.5 million users in December, right? That's a lot. Yeah, Twitter has 253 million monetizable. Yeah, so that's like, that's like 70, 750,000 or so. Yeah, that's a, that's a huge, yeah, that's a huge like drop. Yeah, it's like 750,000-ish. Yeah, so a month ago on December 9th, Mastodon had 2.2 uh, million active users for a total of 5.4. Um, wait, 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 wait. Has 2.2 million active users, but 5.4 million accounts. So uh -huh. everybody has to have a sock. Oh, some puppet. of those are just aren't active. Yeah. Uh -huh. As of today, January 9th, Mastodon has 1.7 active users for a total of 5.9 people who created an account. Wait a second. So the number of accounts are going up, but the number of active users are going down. So people aren't using it or yeah, well, yeah, I know what. I know what's probably going on. They said it's a 23% decrease, 23 decrease in active users in a month. But Twitter has 253 million people. So, yeah, I, I don't think it's going very well. Um, and uh, I got to give a hat tip to Mike who put this article up like a week ago. But, yeah, people are not – they're not flocking to this the way they thought they were. Um, so this is Meg Coffey, a social media strategist, blames Mastodon's dropping numbers on the site's less than intuitive sign-up process, where Twitter is relatively straightforward regarding making an account and tweeting. The alternative is more painful. Based on some videos I found online, it doesn't appear to be that much of a task, but Mastodon asks you to join individual servers rather than being in one massive pot with everyone else. It's kind of like Discord. I was going to say, it sounds like Discord. And they can Discord okay, so why can't you Mastodon? I'm well, just... you're, you know, first of all, yeah, I, I, you know, you look at the people that are going to Mastodon. Some of those people, you know, it would be very hard for them to 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 use a service because it's hard for them to blow their nose. So, how can you blow each other when you can't even blow your own nose? I just, I don't know. Wait, that's a nose. <laughs> it's a trunk, okay? <laughs> Honest, it's a trunk. It's a trap. <laughs> it's a rocket ship. Another reason people may be fleeing the promised land is that Mastodon has a P-word problem. Cybersecurity website, uh, SEC Juice or Sec Juice, SEC Juice, less, led an investigation, <laughs> <Sec juice. laughs> investigation into Mastodon found out that this alleged social media haven is not just a place for those who disagreed with Musk, but also a safe space for people into P-word and uh, underage stuff. Due to, uh. due to Mastodon being decentralized, it is less likely to be moderated effectively, if at all. What I had heard is that... That's what um, I call it, sec juice. Yeah, oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Um, I heard that, uh, yeah, it's like the Wild West over there, and people who were angry that Musk was allowing freer, not free, but freer speech on Twitter uh, were in for a very rude awakening. They went over expecting a hug box. It was like, oh, oh there's a hug box, all right. It's oh, not the kind of hug you oh want. Oh my God! Well, some people do, and apparently, you know, Twitter's been cracking down on p-word, and a lot of these uh, p-word people it's have been p-word hug there. box. Yes, they've been going over to uh, uh, fondle each other's trunks. Protect over there. your children. Yeah. Protect so, your wives. Uh, yeah, it's um, it's quite the uh, interesting situation. So basically, what I'm saying is, you're not leaving Twitter. Stop pretending that you're going to leave Twitter. There really, at this point, is no better alternative. I mean, I'm not saying that there won't be someday, but the reason everybody's freaking out is people did not believe that Musk was going to buy it. Uh, the media was overly dependent on it. And we're finding out the rabbit hole actually goes pretty deep with Twitter and all that. Sounds like the holes go pretty deep at mass. No. They, they do. That's why they need a trunk on the logo. Oh, God. So anyway, yeah, you're not going anywhere. You're stuck in purgatory or just get off of Twitter and get off of social media in general and just go. Uh, go outside. Go for a walk. Touch grass. Call your mom or your friend or your dad or your gender neutral parental unit. I don't care. There you go. Just do something more creative with your time than spending it trolling people on Twitter because it's a dumb place. 
it's a dumb place. But not as dumb as Mastodon. Not as dumb as Mastodon. All right, we're going to wrap it up. Uh -huh. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.